All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you for a ride in the back side of my life. What you, what you don't see from what I do behind the scenes. I was up at 3 a.m. this morning doing the same thing. And if you look down at my screen right now, it is 1.40 a.m. in the morning. What people don't understand is contractors usually spend a lot of time working when they're not actually out working. Today, I pulled 16 hours sitting on my tail doing some of this stuff. But I want to, what the topic is right now is I want to show you the difference between uh, house plants. And I've done this so long that when I get house plans, I get a vibe for the job right off the bat. Right off the bat. The cover page will show me exactly what I need to know about the person. It'll tell me uh, everything that the job will probably end up turning into. So I open up this and I see the super sexy, cool rendering of this modern home with all these diagonal angles. What that tells me right off the bat is this is this is one of the jobs I hate seeing. I hate it. I hate it when somebody wants to turn something on a diagonal. It's fine if they want to do that. I'm not afraid of the job, but I know that their plan is not going to give me the detail I need to give them a sufficient bit. And if I'm actually, I can actually do that, but let me explain. I own a $1,200 software program that makes it really fast to bid jobs. I can typically bid a job this size in about 30 minutes. But because this is on an angle, and then the next number I see right here is 16. There's 16 pages to this plan. I'm looking at this plan. I already know this plan right now is pushing one million dollar home. I know that number 16 is not going to give me the information I need to be successful on bidding this job quickly. So it's going to deflate me and I'm going to put it on the back burner because I don't really want to bid it because I know it's going to require more work. And I don't get paid for this side of my life. So when do I want to waste time? No. But anyway, let's scroll down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This wall right here. I know that's not going to be seen. This wall right here, I know is not going to be seen. I get down to the elevations and this is my money shop. This is where I make my living. I'm a siding roofing contractor. This is what I rely on to give us a bid, an accurate number to a homeowner. They give me the dimensions. They give me the dimensions right here so I can scale the page. That's all fine. But the garage, you come over to the garage, that garage is on an angle. So I can't I can't do anything with that garage. That garage needs to be on a page of its own with a cross section. So you can decipher what you're looking at. I don't have any information what's even behind here. Scroll down. This is all out of whack. It looks super sexy. It's a really good picture. But you want me to give you a number on a picture that's not dimensional? Once again, what am I supposed to do with this angle? That is a 3D image that I can't even touch. I can do roofs because there's, there's software in my program that lets me add pitches 
like the 412 pitch. I can do roofs. But when you turn something on an angle like that, it throws me a curveball I just want to walk away from. Next, there is not a line item for even the materials that they want. They don't have a specification for materials. They don't they don't know where they're going with the whole project. I'll take you to another set of plans. Once again, I look at this house and I know right right now, right off the bat. Let's zoom in. They've got these diagonals. See that diagonal? I know right now I'm not going to have the information I need because there's only 14 pages. Because I've been doing this so long, I know this is a 2 million, well, it's not 2 million. It's probably going to hit 1.5 million. But I picked up this breezeway right here. A rookie would not notice that breezeway. So this wall right here, that's massive. It looks like it's roughly 26 feet long. We got another one right there, massive same length we got the soffit ceiling that's going to be in there so here's my money shot page that's a straight on picture i can work with that i can work with that this page i can't work with from this point on where this line is right here it comes down that section right there I can work with. Everything over here, where the deck is, that is actually on an angle. I cannot work with that. It looks good on paper, but that does not give me the numbers I'm going to need. Those windows should actually be squished a little bit because they're tilted in. Here's the breezeway. Once again, that line right there is where the building is crooked. There's a line that comes down right there and it's not 2D, it's actually 3D. But because the way they drew it, it looks 2D. If I was a rookie and I was bidding this, that detail right there that is not shown see it would cost me thousands I'm going to take you to a, another set of plans that I got today and this is just a simple detached garage well it's pretty nice detached garage But let me show you. We got keynotes over here that tell me what they want for soffit, what they that they want rain gutter. They tell me the metal roofing. They tell me about the attic vent, and they tell me the exterior finish. They come over here. They give me a detail on how they want the roof vented. They, this plan, even though it's just a simple square building, gives me more information to give a comfortable bid than those ones I just showed you. Those ones I just showed you are a recipe for confrontation with a homeowner, with a builder, because you're not giving the information required. If you're going to build a million dollar house, 
spend more than twelve hundred dollars on a set of plants.